At the end of August, it looked like Louisiana's sugarcane crop was going to be a major disappointment due to an extreme drought. But some timely rains in September helped some of the crop recover. Those that didn't receive these rains are still struggling. So you've got people in the low 20s. You've got people that have already crossed 40 tons per acre. Um, they're going to have a top two or three crop. So it's all over the board as far as yields go. A silver lining to the dry weather is sugar recovery levels are excellent, mainly because little mud is being brought into the mills. We're probably, you know, in the low 230s, pounds of sugar per ton of cane. Uh, that's good sugar recovery. Our, our records are in the mid 240s. On the flip side, the extreme drought is going to lead to thousands of acres going unharvested, which Gravois believes is a first. We probably are not going to harvest four to 5,000 acres of the most severely drought affected cane. So uh, that's a new one. You know, we've never had fields that just didn't make it to harvest. While the total amount of sugar produced in Louisiana will be smaller this year, Gravois said that gap would be even larger if not for an additional 20,000 acres of sugar cane grown this year. We're making up some of that shortfall uh, with additional acreage. The other thing to point out is price is good. So people are going to benefit from a good sugar price. Most meals expected to finish grinding near the end of the year because of the lighter crop, but now some plan to go into January. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.